people welcome to my channel today this is the king's tutor okay if you are joining us for the first time kindly subscribe to our channel like comment and share this video ensure you share this video so you get to post that news okay in our previous class we saw um control accounts we saw the introduction of control accounts and we also saw um, the format how to solve our control accounts okay we saw the two type of control accounts we have a sales ledger and a purchases ledger a sales ledger has to do with the debtors while the purchase ledger has to do with the creditors okay if you are, if you have not seen that video i recommend you check in my youtube channel below um, this um, video to see the link to get and watch that video before this okay because it tends to show us the introduction okay today we want to solve a practical question we want to see a question on how to um, solve uh, the control account i would advise whenever you're doing a question relating to control account please write out the sales ledger and the purchase ledger simultaneously so that when you start solving anyone that pertains to it you post it okay so we'll start with this now the question you can see um, on your screen there below it said the sales the full entry balance was extracted from the books of Kachi Enterprises on 31st December 2004 okay the first item there is sales ledger debit balance 1st of 1st 2004 now sales ledger debit balance now in this now they are telling us where to post it okay sales ledger debit balance first first so 98,260 so we have our balance brought forward balance brought forward it says 98,260 that's sales ledger debit balance this sales ledger okay the next one said sales ledger credit balance at the first so we have balance brought forward also balance brought forward which is 2370 2370 okay the next thing we'll see we'll see the bot ledger credit balance so we'll come to the bot ledger is also known as the purchase ledger so we'll come here we'll say bot ledger balance brought forward how much is it the set is seven two thousand one ninety. Okay. The next one they say board ledger debit balance. I will call me also. How much is it? The set it is four thousand two ten. Four thousand two ten. Now, this is when it is specific. But when a question is silent, like it did not ask us to put. They just said the balance got for all. Um, balance sales data balance as at the beginning that uh, begins an amount if it is silent please for sales data post to the debit side all debtors have a debit balance why for the purchase data post to the credit side all creditors have a lot a credit balance okay so the next item we can see there is the credit purchases now the credit purchases we consign um, the purchases ledger control account now, since they say the purchases, I remember in the introduction of this control account, I gave you the rules pertaining to this. I said the debit side of the sales data contains items that increase the debt of the debtor, while the credit side contains items that reduces their debt. Okay? Also, for the purchase ledger, the debit side contains what is received by the supplier, while the credit side contains what the supplier is giving us. Okay? So now they say credit purchase. Now, since it is credit purchase, it means that if you purchase an item, the goods tend to go out. Okay, so the purchaser is giving it out. So we we'll have our credit purchase here. We we'll have credit purchase, which is 513,620. 513,620. Okay, the next one is cash purchase. Cash purchase will not come to the control account. If you go to the what's a cash book okay remember our cash book everything that concerns the um cash goes to the cash book so we'll skip that most time it is um the trick of the examiner to put things that are not related to see how you are you are effective in this okay so we have um credit sales credit sales concerns the sales 
So we said, if this credit sales, it means that the customers bought on credit. It means they did not pay. So if they buy on credit, it means it will increase what? Their existing debt. Okay? So it's posted to the debit side. So we'll have our credit sales, which is how much? Credit sales is 781,540. I'll move to the next one. Account settled by contra. Account settled by contra. Now we talked about contra. We said contra entry or the setup is when a customer is also a supplier. It means that um, you sold to somebody on credit at the same time, bought from that person on credit. At this time, the amount will cancel it each other. Okay? In such situation, what it happens, you will post both to the sales ledger and the purchase ledger. So it is affecting the debt to reduce the debt of um, the debt for you. So we'll post at the credit side of the sales ledger. So write contra, which is how much is it? Six thousand two twenty. Six thousand two twenty. I'll come here. We we'll post the same thing. Contra six thousand two twenty. Okay. So the next one is build the sonor. Build the sonor. Uh, most time, um, uh, a seller might send um, a bill of exchange for a customer to receive. So if it is being dishonored, definitely it tends to what increase that debt. Okay, so bill dishonored will come to this point. So we have bill dishonored. The bill dishonored, how much is it? The bill dishonored is 7,500. 7,500. Okay, we'll move to the next one. Bad debts written off. A bad debt is it is called incoverable debts. Those debts that cannot be recovered. So it means that if it cannot be recovered, definitely it is what written off. And if it is written off, it tends to what bring down the um, already existing debt or the debt of in the book of the word seller. So at the credit side is the bad debt written off. Remember post item that concerns the debt of his account. So our bad debt is enough is 5,260. 5,260. Now move to the next one. Bill of exchange drawn on customer. It is also known as bill receivable. Okay, since they say on customer. What do you mean to say bill of exchange on supplier? It is bill payable, payable bills payable. Okay, so they say bill of exchange drawn on customer. We also know that bills receivable. So the bills receivable, since they have received it, it means they are um, getting their um, um, signature that yes, they are indebted and they will pay. So definitely, the bill receivable is coming to the credit side. So with this, uh, bills receivable, bills receivable, we have a value at 34730 Okay, the next one is return inwards. Return inwards means those goods return back to your seller. Okay, return by the customer. So if a customer bought an item on credit and it tends to return it back, it means it tends to reduce its debt. So the return inwards is coming at the word credit side. So return inwards. How much is it? The return inwards is 7,000. 450. Okay. The next one is return outward. Return outward consigns the supplier. Okay. These are goods that are returned back um, to them. So they receive back the goods. So our uh, return outwards we posted at the debit side what they receive. Okay. The return outwards here is 8920. 8920. Okay. The next one is cash received from debtor. Cash received from debtor. It seems the debtor is affecting the sales ledger. Now, if they receive cash from debtor, definitely it means that it tends to um, reduce the already existing debt owed by the debtor. Okay? So, cash received from debtor will be at the credit side because it will reduce that debt. So, we say cash received from debtor. So, what is the amount? Cash receipt from debtor is 689,289,230. Okay, the next one, cash paid to what? 
supplier. Cash paid to supplier. So if they pay cash to supplier, the supplier will receive the money. So if they receive it, it means it will be debited to the account. So it's at this point, cash paid to suppliers. How much is it? Cash paid to suppliers is $195,140. The next one is discount receive. Discount receive is what, um, relating to what the supplier discounts the actual what receive from what they are purchases. So if they are receiving it, it means it should be debited. So we have discount received. Discount received is how much? The discount received is 19,320. 19,320. Okay. The next one is discount allowed. Discount allowed is what the reduction in the amount to be paid. And it's supposed to be paid by the customer. It affects customer. So if a customer is particularly indebted on uh, a particular amount and is, is giving discount, definitely it tends to be respect. So it will come here. So discount allowed will be $24,750. The next one, cash refunded to customer. Probably um, in excess of what is owed by the customer. Customer paying in excess, so they refunded cash to them. So if they refunded cash back, it means we have to work that it is account back. Okay? So I have cash refunded. So I have cash refunded. How much is it? The cash refunded 1270. 1270. The next one, sales ledger credit balance at the end. Remember, I said once they say sales ledger credit balance. Now, you put to the um, sales ledger, but if it is credit balance at the end, now you do the reverse first, so that when you now post it as brought down, it will reflect what is being asked in the question. For instance, you say sales ledger credit balance at the 1st of December 2004. So, it is sales ledger. Since you say it's credit balance, you will post it at the debit side first. So, it will now be what we call balance carry down. How much is it? 20 then. Now this is only applicable when it is the word the balance at the end. Okay? The same thing we we'll post bot ledger debit balance. So since they say bot ledger debit balance, we we'll post first of all to what? To the credit side. Okay? So we have balance carried down, which is how much? 3,340. Okay, so that when we are not posting the drawdown, it now reflects what is being asked in the question. Okay, so if you add up all this, if you add up this part, if you add up the debit side, it will give you 890,580. Eight Okay, it's supposed to be bigger than this. If you add up this, and this is supposed to have the same eight ninety thousand five eighty. Okay, so the difference, which is known as balance carried down, difference between this and this, is of one twenty thousand three seventy one five seventy. Okay, so the balance carried down here is being brought down. As balance brought down as this part it gives you 589.180. So and also we're supposed to have the same balance. Now the difference between this and this gives the balance carried down. Okay, which is five five three four. Okay, so our balance carried down is brought down as balance brought down. Five, five, three, four, and I'll carry that also. It's brought down here as five, five, sorry, as three, three, four, no. Okay, so that is how to solve the control account. If you enjoy joining us for the first time, kindly like, comment, 
share this video. Okay, I'll ask some questions.